this is Frost, and today we're playing Pokemon Fire Red version. The original plan for today's video, let me just adjust my mic, cause yeah. The original plan for today's video was going to be to play Pokemon Crystal, um, Pokemon Star Crystal, uh, Blue or something like that. It's this really cool fan game that I really wanted to take a swig at. Um, Light Crystal Blue, I think it was. But unfortunately for me, and unfortunately for you, I could not get the game to work on my computer. I will link it in the description if anyone knows how to get it set up. But, uh, yeah, I downloaded the emulator. I went through all that trouble, so instead we're going to be playing Pokemon Fire Red. Alright. The various buttons will be explained in the order of their importance. Uh, so I am using an emulator for this game. I am using the emulator known as Visual Boy Advance. I already did a quick playthrough of this game already. Uh, sorry if you heard that. That was me taking off my jacket. Uh, just to get a quick feel for it. And also, that was my first time recording it. And I didn't record any of this properly. So that was fail. Uh, if you're new to my Let's Plays, hi. I've been off the grid for a little bit. Um, it's mainly just me talking about my life, venting, and explaining things while I also happen to play video games. If that seems like the kind of thing you're into, enjoy the show. If not, there's the door. Uh, in this world, which you are about to encounter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Enter all the information and hints from every source. New paths will open up to you by helping people in need. I love how it's Pikachu. Look, that was back when Pikachu was fat. Pikachu used to have, like, a really fat design. And then later they went back and made him more thin. And it made me sad. That looks to be a boy Pikachu by the tail. You can tell if Pikachu is a boy or girl based on the tail. Um, at times, you'll be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press the A button to let your adventure begin. Ah, oh, Professor Oak! Ah, oh, so excited! I've missed you, Oaky buddy. Okay, <laughs> can I call him that without playing weird? Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. I'm not going to call you that. It's inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. So he's like a zoologist. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? Hmm, decisions on male. Some people think I'm female because of how high my voice goes. Uh, I, I'm a dude, guys. Guys, I'm a dude. <laughs> Let's begin with your name. What is it? So there's not enough room for Dionysus, I promise you. Uh, Dion... I could go with Dion because that's what my family calls me anyway. My family does not like calling me Dionysus. They, they think it's the most longest, absurd name. Uh, so we're just going to go with that. Dionysus, because there's no room for the U. Right, so your name is Dionysus. Yes. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Oh, great. Uh, that makes me feel super great. Er, uh, what was his name now? I fucking love that. I'm going to name him Oracle, because that's what I named him last time. And it fits, like, Dionysus versus Oracle. If you don't know, in Greek mythology, Apollo had these things called oracles, which were like people who saw the future. Um, which is really cool. Er, was it Oracle? <laughs> That's right, I remember now. His name is Oracle. <laughs> Gee, Oak, you should have known that. Dionysus, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. God, doing the subtitles on this video is going to be a bitch. Ah, uh, oh, nostalgia. I fucking love this. I'm actually making my own video game right now, and one thing I noticed about RPGs is they always have a wall here, and the houses in my game don't. Uh, the main reason I haven't been online with my video games um, 
is because I've been making my own. Uh, it's called Mermaids vs. Zombies, and it's a pain in the ass to program. I'm probably going to have to hire someone to help me program it. <laughs> um, just because I'm not the best at programming. Uh, cool. So just exploring the um, mailbox. There's no mail here. What would you like to do? I guess that's everything you can do with the computer. Um, and so my game is a one-man show. I'll, I'll show you guys my game when it's ready to be shown, but it's not ready to be shown yet. I'm working on it. It's crammed full of Pokemon books. What about this? Does this give me any info? It's a nicely made dresser. It will hold a lot of stuff. What about my bed? No, my bed doesn't tell me anything. That looks familiar. Poke Nintendo, I see what you're doing. Dennis has played with the NES. Okay, it's time to go. Okay, okay, I got it. You want to leave? Wait, let's read this first. It's a post-it notice. If you're confused, ask for help. Press the L or R button. That'd be great if I had L or R buttons. I guess... Um... Do I have L or R buttons? Ah! No! What did I just do? Ah, uh, <laughs> Hold on, I just messed up the game. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> We're good. We're good, fam. We're good. <laughs> ah, this is my childhood. Ah, I haven't played Pokemon in years because I stopped uh, with the like Nintendo DS and shit. I don't do that. I gave my only Nintendo DS to my ex-friend Merrick. We'll call him Merrick. And Merrick and I aren't speaking terms anymore. What is it? What? It's only Dionysus. Gramps isn't around. Let's see our specimen. Those are Pokeballs. They contain Pokemon. I wonder what they do. Those are Pokeballs. They contain Pokemon. Dun -dun -dun -dun. So yeah, um, I I used to be subscribed to like this this really like elaborate YouTuber. I think his name was Jade or something like that. Professor Oak may not look like much, but he's the authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers hold him in high regard. Celebi. Celebi. Fucking dude. I study Pokemon as a Professor Oak's got aid. Um. Um. Basically. Uh. And. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah. I used to follow this YouTuber named Jade. And he used to post lots of in-depth theories and hypotheses about. Pokemon, like, Pokemon was all he did, and it was really elaborate, and I stopped following him. I loved his personality, but I was like, look, dude, I just don't care about Pokemon as much as you. And I didn't tell him that, because he's, like, a YouTuber, it's a parasocial relationship, and I love Pokemon, but, like, I'm not into the battling aspect of it, which is kind of stupid when you, like, look at a Pokemon game. I just lost half my viewers. <laughs> like, I love Pokemon, I just think the battling is, like, the least interesting part of it to me. And I know that's really weird because, like, that's the whole game, but, like, I love Pokemon. I just mm, don't like repetition, and that's a big part of it. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in the tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. I'm not making a move. He's he's moving on his own. He's, uh, he's moving. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Oracle, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, then, this is... There are three Pokemon here. <laughs> the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. He cramps no fair. What about me? Be patient, Oracle. You could have one too. We're gonna go with Charmander is your choice. You should raise it patiently. So Nanissus, you're claiming the fire Pokemon Charmander. Yes, I always go Charmander. Uh Charmander is my boy. Dennis received a charm from Professor Oak. I wonder if you can get all Pokemon in this game, because there's no trading available. Do you want to give a nickname to this Charmander? Let's go with Brony. We're gonna name him Brony. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your name is bullshit. We're gonna call you bullshit because we're fed up with you. 
we're, we're naming you Brony. Bronek. Bronek is a cool name. I always give my characters and things like really weird names. I'll take this one then. Oracle received the Squirtle. Oh, like, that always pissed me off as a kid. Like, you pick one element and your rival picks the exact opposing element in order to spite you. Um, and like, as a child, I fucking hated that so much. <laughs> but like, as an adult, I'm like, eh, it's a game. Wait, Dennis says, check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Rival Oracle would like to battle. Rival Oracle sent out Squirtle. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. Denesis, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers put their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. So, fun fact, Pokemon as a game was made by an autistic guy who loved bug catching. I think they were male. Um, try battling and see for yourself. And so, like, like, here's the thing. Like, I'm autistic, and, like, there's this hypothesis. I don't know what it's called, but there's this hypothesis that people with ADHD and autism yeah, like are unlimited in what we can do when like executive dysfunction doesn't get in the way um and like when i look at things like pokemon or or like um other idi like projects made by like neurodivergent people I, like people say you can't separate an artist from the art not that you would really wow this is a really easy battle but it's your first one so i suppose um you know, it's clear, like, the autism shows and how the game was really made, sort of. Um, if you look at, like, how the special interests manifest, it manifests in, the, like, the bug-type Pokemon. It manifests in, like, the Pokeballs to catch the Pokemon. Like, that's a very bug-catcher, like, sort of thing. You know, the collecting, that's, like, the bug-catcher. And so, like, like the creator of Pokemon loved to catch bugs, and, like, without that special interest, without that autism, you wouldn't have Pokemon. And I think it's, like, the coolest fucking thing, because, like, I'm autistic, and, like, right now I'm making my own game, Mermaids vs. Zombies. If you win, you earn prize money, and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers, and make your Pokemon strong. Um, and, like, here's the thing. For Valentine's Day, my mom bought me, <laughs> um, bought me chocolate, and it had a mermaid scale pattern, and it said something like, uh, you're the scale of my heart, or something like, or you're fantastic, or something like that. It was really silly. Uh, look, look, I copied what it said on one of those trainer tip signs. Trainer tips. Press start to open the menu. I think enter start. Yeah. Signs are useful, aren't they? Bronick. Okay. Um, and so, like, like Mermaids vs. Zombies came about because I wanted to make a zombie game. And I wanted to make a mermaid game. But I only had time for one of those. And mermaids, like, I, ever since I was a little kid, I've been obsessed with mermaids. I've always kind of, like... I know it's not a very masculine interest, and, like, I'm aware of that, but, like, my family's been always very accepting of me. Like, I cross-dress, right? Like, my family's... Okay, they haven't always been accepting of me, but they came around. Uh, <laughs> like, my, my family's very accepting of me now, that's what matters. Um, and, like, like, I got a big book on mermaids when I was a kid, and, like, for Halloween, my mom bought me a skeleton mermaid doll that probably was really cheap. Um, and, like, I look at this shit, and I'm just, like, like, as someone who's obsessed with mermaids, mermaids versus zombies, my big video game, it just wouldn't exist without me being autistic. It just, it just wouldn't. Because mermaids are my special interests. When I was little, I tried to make a mermaid web show with several girls I knew, and it just never ended up happening. 
Um, <laughs> and I'm kind of glad I didn't, because at the time, I kind of ran a review show where I kind of dunked at age 16 on all these mermaid web shows. I still have that old, um, <laughs> review show. Um, Bronick is growing. <laughs> um, Bronick is growing in his power. Uh, <laughs> you know? Um, and like, oh, it's a female. We should beat it to a pulp. I'm like, why is that my first reaction? That's so bad. Uh, you know, and so like, you know, growing up. Okay, Bronick is going to faint at this point. Kill the rat a ta da ta da ta da ta da ta da ta da Um, and so like, half of my projects wouldn't exist if they weren't special interests. Like, I'm currently writing a book. <laughs> Um, I, I know. Um, I currently wrote a book. Uh, I recently released a book under my pen name Adam Snowflake, which I recently dropped because the only reason I go by Dionysus now is because the Greek god asked me to. And you, you don't have to believe in the gods, right? You don't, you don't have to believe in them, but like I believe in them and I work with them and like I, well, I don't worship them. I have them in my life and they play a key part of my life. And he recently told me he wants me to drop the Adam Snowflake label and just go by Dionysus on everything. And I'm just like, okay, great. Still won't let me legally change my name to that, though. Um, you know, and like, you know, so um, Dionysus, so, so I'm dropping Adam Snowflake as a pen name because of the Greek god asked me to. You don't have to believe it's real. I believe it's real, right? Um, but under my pen name, Adam Snowflake, I wrote my first ever children's book. Well... And then I also wrote my first ever young adult novel, and my young adult novel is called The Impacted. Okay, thanks. Please say hi to Professor Oak. Also, if you missed that, because it happened in a blink, this person on the game just asked me to deliver something to Professor Oak. Um, I, bl I blinked the first time that happened, when my first playthrough. I was like, oh, okay, guess we're doing this now. Ooh, look, an old man fell. I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property! I'm gonna go through the house, though. Oh, Sparrow. Come with me. Coming up with nicknames is fun, but it's not so easy to do. Clever names are nice, but simple names are easier to remember. Man, it's harder to do male voices than female voices. My daddy loves Pokemon, too. Tweet, tweet. Tweet? That's not a tweet noise. It was like doo -doo -doo. that's like a trumpet noise. Um. Uh. But yeah, basically, I look at like the young adult book, The Impacted, and it's about like trigger warning for self harm and shit. Um. So like, I wrote this story about a young girl, who spoiler warning turns out to be a trans dude later, but like she's a girl in the first book, and like. She essentially is depressed. Her mom refuses to get her help. She self-harms. She's suicidal. And she has superpowers. <laughs> she has superpowers. Um, her mom's verbally abusive, which means her mom abuses her by emotion and, like, screaming at her. She never lays a finger on her, but she emotionally puts her through hell. Um, to the degree where it, it is real abuse, it is traumatizing, but it's not legally abuse because she does her, puts a finger on her. Um, die, Ratatata. I fucking hate Ratatata. It's like one of those Pokemon I just can't stand. So, like, I'm always brutal whenever Ratatata comes on screen. Um, so the book, so, okay, so the premise of the book is that long ago there was a virus. I know, it's topical. I came up with this idea in, like, the seventh grade before like even the swine flu okay there was a virus and it was extreme the doctors did everything they could to cure it and they did but the people who were cured changed i want to see if it'll let me in only chilled screeners are allowed through you don't have the boil you don't have the boulder badge yet rules are rules can't let you pass damn it i just wanted to see if it would let me in didn't think it would but i just wanted to see um, uh, Pokemon League front gate. Um, and so, like, 
long ago there's a virus, it was extreme, the doctors did everything they could to cure it, and they did, but the people who were cured changed. Half the people uh, developed superpowers who got the cure. But within that minor subsect, only like half of those people who got powers, half of those half, now only use their powers to destroy and they become mindless. And they cause chaos and havoc. So out of this, two groups came from from the chaos. Um, Team Xoa, who capture these people who, who've gone crazy and send them to the government for testing. And Team Rotista, who mercy killed them. I know what you're thinking, mercy killing? That's terrible. It is, yeah. Uh, but, like, these people are so far gone. Um, oh, Pigeon! Pidgey, 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 Pidgey. I have a friend I call Pigeon because they're non-binary and they go by Pidge. So I want to catch this. I might- wait, do we have Pokeballs yet? Oh, we don't have Pokeballs yet. I guess I'm gonna, like, kill it. Uh, like, here's the thing. Everyone's like, you make the Pokemon faint. I'm like, I know that. But that's not how we phrase it. We phrase it as we kill that Pokemon. That's what we did in grade school. And that's basically what, like, how it's framed here. The Pokemon may faint in air quotations, but that's not how we viewed it as little kids. <laughs> um, uh, and basically, like, um, so I've so the main character is Ivy Potts, and she ends up joining Team Zoa initially, and she finds out through that. Team Ratista finds out about her and recruits her. And so it's about her and her morally gray world of a Marietta, Georgia, because that's where I grew up. And it's it's basically about her I'm doing it. And it's out on Amazon now. It's $13. I'll only make $2 per book to keep it that cheap. And because Amazon takes a huge cut of the profits. Um, and it's called The Impacted Book One Ivy. And it's fully out. It's ready to read and everything. But, like, that book wouldn't have been made if I didn't go through the verbal abuse and emotional abuse and the self-harm that I did, right? So, like, my- you can't separate the artist from the art when I say that. I mean that. Like, that book is based off my own trauma. Uh, oh, Dionysus, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. Aw, it's so cute, Charmander loves me back. You must be a talented Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Dionysus delivered Oak's parcel. A army's up in this bitch. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Oracle. Gramps! I'm almost for God. W what did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request for you to... Uh, Oak's doesn't seem like he's in the most sound mind these days. <laughs> on the desk, there is my invention. These Pokedex. The Pokedex look huge. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Dionysus and Oracle, take these with you. Dionysus received the Pokedex from Professor Oak. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them. To obtain complete data. Yeah, this has always weirded me out about the Pokemon Pokedex. Like, is it like a sentient thing where it just knows when you go get when you like come into contact, or was it already programmed with all the information and so just coming into contact educates the kids? Like, what is that? Dionysus received five Pokeballs. Yes, I can now catch a Pidgey. I can now catch a Pidgey. Dionysus put the Pokeballs in the when a wild Pokemon appears. It's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. Again, like this this is like the bug catcher's mentality. I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna name this this let's play. I'm gonna I'm gonna writing that down. Let's play Pokemon one Bug Catcher's Mentality. But yeah guys, I'm back on YouTube. I know I was away for a while with the Let's Plays. I just wasn't playing video games. When I play video games, most of the time I tape it. Um, I play it on playing Omori too, uh, so we can get back that into the into the game. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. Dionysus, I hate to say it. But you won't be necessary for this. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I know I'll borrow a town map for my sis. 
I'll tell her not to lend you one, Dionysus. <laughs> Fucking brat. Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Fucking asshole. Fucking little dick. Like, what the fuck? Why is he such a prick? Why is he a prick? Also, Pokemon Red manga is really good. Like, if you like Pokemon and you're just, like, into Pokemon, but you, you subscribe because I'm going to be going through this game quite, quite religiously. Ah, oh, it's a fucking Rattata. Die, fiend. I'm sorry. I'm just so cruel to the Rattatas. Uh, fuck. Well, let's try to capture it because I don't have potions. I do have potions. Pokeball. You are coming with me. I'm gonna name it Ratface. <laughs> I'm so cruel. <laughs> I'm gonna name it Ratface. I'm so mean. Nah, I'm gonna name it George. Curious George. Now, Curious George is a monkey. I didn't read the thing. I should have read the thing. Give a nickname. I'm gonna name it Stuart. Get it? Cause Stuart Little. I, I wonder if there's enough room to name it Stuart Little. Stuart. There's not enough. Stuart. 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 Dun 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 dun. I'm gonna avoid tra getting into the grass because I don't want my Charmander to die. Poor thing. No! What did I just say? Oh, a pigeon. I want 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 a pigeon. I'm like five years old. Wouldn't it be weird if I just kept this whole entire team throughout the entire game? Like the Pokemon I catch from this level. Or like from this game. I'm gonna name it Bug Eater because if you look at Pidgey's Pokedex entry, it says that it eats bugs. <laughs> Does not like to fight. It hides in tall grass and so on. Foraging for food such as small bugs. You have a nickname to the to to the Pidgey, yes. Bug In this household we shame our pets. Eat her. Bug eater. Oh, it's a male. Last time I got bug eater, she was female. This is not my first rodeo. <laughs> I'm gonna run away from the level 3 Pidgey because I don't want Bronick to die. Sorry if you can't hear the audio that well. I'm, I'm working with what I can here. Um. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? I love how they don't charge. Like, I, like they don't charge you anything to heal up your, your um. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. I wonder if I can, like, rearrange my Pokemon. Let's see. Okay. Would you like to save the game? Saving. Do not turn off the power. Don't think I can, buddy. It's weird, because this is not how you save it on the emulator. Uh, we're gonna go to Pokemon. Switch. We want Bug Eater to be first. Yeah, so Bug Eater gets a little XP. When I was little, I had Ruby Sapphire. I think it was Ruby Sapphire. It was something like that. And like, I think I, um, I had Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. I had all the Pokemon games grow up. Uh, and b basically, how many Pokeballs? Certainly how many would you like? 
and you want nine, that will be 1,800 tokens. There you are, thank you. And I want a shit ton of potions. I'm just gonna spend all my money here. And then I'm gonna get an antidote, I'm gonna get two antidote and two paralyzed heals. Cause I'm buying up all this stock, cause I don't know when I'll need it. Oh shit, I thought I had more money than I did. Is there anything else I could do? See ya. Me, I'm gonna spend all my money. S me is not able to spend money. Me, what could have gone wrong? Uh, an old man. Well, now I've had my coffee and that's what all I need to get going. Hmm, what is this resin box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice. I give all these people the same voice. I'm a voice actor. I, sh I have a large range, but I I'm not using it in this in this Let's Play. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? I suppose I had better show you then. Da -da 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 Wild Weedle appeared. I'm not controlling this, by the way. This is like automatic. It's like a cutscene. I like how this game kind of tutors you and how to play it, as if you've never played a Pokemon game before, which you probably haven't if you're if you're new here. But um, I think it's kind of cute how it how it teaches you how to play the game. I think that's sweet. I think it's it's earnest and it and it, and, it, and, it, and it's sweet. Now they'll tell me that was educational, was it not? Oh yeah, so I remember I brought this up earlier, but I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, so there's a Pokemon, uh, Dionysus put the Teach you TV and the Onyms Yavik. If there's something you don't understand, watch that. It will teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Um, basically, like, um, there's a Pokemon manga called, about this character named Red. I know that's not saying much, so, like a Pokemon manga. Like, everybody knows Ash, but nobody knows Red. So, Red is based off the Pokemon games. In this game, he battles the Elite Four, he grows up, he has, like, like, emotions and he changes with, like, this, with, like, the story and everything. And it's, like, it, it follows the plot line of the games. And it's way more fulfilling than the Pokemon anime, I would argue, because there's actual character growth. Um, but that's just, like, my opinion. Um, I personally only know what I've seen of both of the anime and the, and the manga. Um, which I haven't read past book two, so take it with a grain of salt. But, I mean... And I haven't seen the anime for a very long time. But I, I do suggest, if you're into Pokemon, picking up the Pokemon Red manga. Uh, it's really, really good. Um, so that's the thing. But um, I think Pokemon has such an extensive lore. Here's, here's something funny. My, my wife and I like to joke that... Okay, so I have this friend named Mia. I wrote a whole song about how much I love and adore her. Her name is Mia. And she is my my stun and my moon, and she is wonderful. Uh, she is like the best person in my life, next to Jimmy. Uh, except I don't want to fuck Jimmy. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Not that I want to fuck Jimmy. That I I don't want to fuck Mia. Um, Mia is my best friend, or one of my best friends. She's been really distant lately, but she's also in school. So like, oh no, it poisoned it poisoned bug eater. <laughs> <laughs> bug eater, you're not gonna take this from a bug, are you? Come on, bug eater, you're not gonna take this from your food. I wouldn't be bullied by a steak. Come on, bug eater, you can do it. Come on, bug eater. Aw, bug eater. Come on, bug eater, you can do it, yes. Bug eater gained 29 XP points. 
Oh, there, the health healed a little bit. I'm so used to using they, them pronouns by default, even though I know Bug Eater's a boy. I'm just like, uh, them. <laughs> they, them. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, Mia's my wife, and there's this, this, there's this Pokemon. So, we all know Mr. Mime, right? They're really weird, like, Pokemon. So, some Pokemon are based off people and, like, costumes and things. Some Pokemon are not, um based off that. Some Pokemon are based off, uh, um, based off, like, yokai. Some Pokemon are based off, uh, you know, myths and gods and shit, like Entei. Uh, some Pokemon are just based off outfits and shit, like Mr. Mime. Uh, hence the name Mr. Mime. In his Pokedex entry, um, it is stated that Mr. Mime will sometimes take unwed women as wives in one of his Pokedex entries. It's really weird. It's really creepy. But it's not the creepiest thing to come out of Pokemon. <laughs> People actually eat Pokemon in the Pokemon series. Uh, Slowpoke Tail is a fine dynasty that you can get. And it's stated that like several other entries are like that where if you look deep digging, you will find that in the, in the entries in the games, not like in the actual um anime it's never shown in the anime there's actually guidelines on as to why you can't portray anything that remotely looks like pokemon in eating like on the thing i don't have sources for this but trust me uh i'll find sources if it's that big of a deal um but like like in in the actual anime there's sources that say you can't have them eating anything that looks remotely like a pokemon i remember reading but like in the guidelines in the actual games there's a lot of dark shit hidden in between in the world building like some pokemon are stated to have been like humans in the past or like the ghost of dead children or like the fact that cubone like um or like the fact that cubone um has its dead mother's skull on its face there's a lot of stuff like that and like one of Mr. Mime's things like that is that it takes women as his wives. So my wife, who we're not actually dating for the record, I, I call her my wife because I, I'm in love with her and I love her so much and she's wonderful, but she doesn't like me like that. Uh, her name is Mia. Um, she uh, is wonderful. And because she is wonderful, um, I, I often joke that she's married to Mr. Mime. <laughs> We have this in joke, or we used to. Whenever like Mr. Mime would come up on my dash, I'd be like, "It's your husband," and I would send her a picture of Mr. Mime uh, because I'm a terrible friend. Um, and that's just that's just how I how I roll. These weedles are killing my Pidgey. Let's, good, you've earned death, Weedle. You've earned death. It's super effective. Better be. He killed my Pidgey. Dinesis found one Pokeball. Dinesis put the Pokeball in the Pokeball's pocket. Aw, oh, come on. Wild Caterpie appeared. Go, Bug Eater! Sand attack do anything or sand attack one of those moves where it's just Nah, come on, I wasted my move. I know those can be used in like deep strategy. But like that was not the time. Because like Bug Eater is gonna die. And by die I mean faint. Because this is a kid's game. I really hope Nintendo doesn't like take down this video. Because it's very possible that Nintendo can take down this video because I'm showing, like, gameplay footage of Pokemon and they don't like that and Nintendo's notorious for taking down gameplay footage and shit and I'm just like, uh. <sighs> Regardless, I'm gonna have, um... I'm gonna have, like... This is actually how you level up a Gyarados, by the way. The way you level up a Gyarados, um, is... You have Magikarp be the first Pokemon out, 
and then you switch the Pokemon out every single round. That way, um, Magikarp gets some of the XP without having to fight, because Magikarp can't learn any moves. Um, so people in the anime, whenever they have a Gyarados, I'm just like, how the fuck did you do that? I'm just like, how the fuck do you have a Gyarados? Like, explain to me your magical ways. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please don't be poisoned. Please don't be poisoned. Da, 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 da. Bug Eater gained 14 experience points. Bronick gained 14 experience points. Bronick grew to level 9. Okay, we're stuck. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? I'm... Oh fuck, I don't have the arsenal to battle you kid. Hey, you have Pokemon. Come on. Let's battle them. Uh, <laughs> I don't have the energy to battle you. All my Pokemon are dying. Bug catcher, Rick and out Weedle. Bug eater. I swear I'm wasting all my all my fucking all my fucking uh potions on fucking bug eater. You know what I don't like about the Pokemon anime? The fact that Ash moves on from like his Charizard and like his Misty and Brock and like they're never brought up again like sometimes they are but like they're completely forgotten about and like that that kind of hurts my feelings a little bit I'm like we grew up with these characters you know you know well, like now they're gone forever what the fuck I don't know I get sentimental over that shit I once saw someone who was a, a chubby cosplayer, they were like getting picked on for cosplaying Misty and I was like, you know, like, like my, and my friend was also picking on them too and I'm like, look, if they were thin they wouldn't have been a problem and they're like, yeah, but they're fat so it's terrible and I'm just like, uh, <laughs> the fat phobia on this, cause I'm a chubby person, like you guys don't see my face. Uh, on this account, but like I, I do have a main account which is Dion Goes Pew, and like I'm not a thin person, so when I see people pick on chubby people, I'm just like, <sighs> you know, it's it's not the make me feel the best. Like I get it, some people see fat bodies as really gross, but like, like I don't know, it just it hurts my feelings when people. Uh, do that. I don't know. I shouldn't, but it hurts my feelings. So when you pick on somebody who's like offensive, like a bad person who's fat, and you pick on them for their weight when they're just a bad person, it doesn't hurt them. It hurts people who are fat who are good people. And I'm just like, uh, I've seen that too many times. Though I don't think anybody should be cosplaying Misty. I don't. I don't like thirst cosplays. I really don't. Now we're gonna carefully avoid there's a traitor up here. I'm gonna carefully avoid them. Dionysus found one antidote. Dionysus put the antidote in the pot. I Why does it always talk in third person? It's so weird to me. Gonna wait for you to turn. Now turn again. Dun 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 dun. Oh! A Pikachu this early on? Go, Bug Eater. We're just gonna scratch you, Pika. We're not gonna. We're not gonna kill you. Ah! 
I love how they like noises and they're not saying their names. I never liked that trait in the anime. I love how I have so many Pokeballs. Aw, oh, it appeared to be caught. While the Pikachu used the Thunder Shock. Aw, oh, come on, Bug Eater. You're so weak. Why is Bug Eater so weak? This doesn't do it. I'm gonna have to faint the Pikachu. Knock him out. Ah. Okay, we're gonna call them Electrifying. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. I, I, I keep forgetting to read the Pokedex entries. Go nickname to the capture Pikachu? Of course I want to nickname it. I don't want to name it Static after Static Shock. Elect. Elect. Trick. I guess electric will just have to do as a name. Electric E. Electric E. So that way it sounds cute. Go bug eater. I'm wasting all my potions on you, bug eater. I'm wasting every single potion on you, bug eater. You better be grateful. That's all I'm saying. It's like having kids. I remember I was asking my mom in the car the other day. I was like, do you think I'd be a good father? And she t she's like, given how you are with your niece, absolutely not. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> She's like, look, do you have any idea how hard it is to raise a child? I'm just like, so you, you don't think I'd be a good father? She's like, absolutely not. I'm like, okay. That kind of sucks. Which is weird because she said my sister, who was absolutely way worse with my niece, would be a great mother. And I'm like, okay, there's a double standard going on here. And I don't know what it is, but I am not here for it. I'm gonna switch Pokemon because I feel like it's been a while since Brunick has been out. Brunick and Buggy are basically the same level now. Um, I'm like, there's something going on here, and I don't know what it is, but I'm not a fan of it. Uh, da, 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 da. I love how it's split right down the middle, 25 for 25 defense points each. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, but in general, like, when it comes to RPGs, that's what I, what I plan on playing. I plan on doing quite a few Game Maker games. I've always, I've always favored Game Maker as like, not Game Maker, sorry, RPG Maker. Um, you know? Um, Metaton's Defense Rose. Uh, I personally don't like it as a software. I tried to use it. I bought it. I tried it. It's the most frustrating software, especially because I already knew somewhat how to code and like just going to that. I, I remember thinking it was the laziest software. Um, but I'm like, it's, it's lazy in the same way Rumpy is lazy. It, it just has it all mapped out for you. And that's not really lazy so much as it's just designed for the thing it's designed for. So I wouldn't say RPG Maker is like inherently a lazy software, even though that was my initial impression of it. I would say it's not for me. Um, but I do like the games people produce with it when they're, you know, unique enough to use their own graphics and stray away from like the handed initial RPG Maker stuff. 
I don't think people should be like just mimicking the exact same RPG Maker style for their u original games. And that's one of the things I like about Omori. Um, it's unique for a game maker game. Uh, sorry, an RPG Maker game. And that's what I like about it. Uh, if it was just like a cut and paste RPG Maker game, I don't think it would be as popular as it's being. I follow this YouTuber named Jade, and this is different from the Jade who does the Pokemon <laughs> um, uh, channel. Um, uh, and they, uh, they're they non-binary, so I'm using the identity pronouns for them. Uh, they are doing a Let's Play of it, and I'm like, you know, Omori, your channel's about like lots of kawaii and good things. I'm not sure Omori is like the best <laughs> game you want to showcase for that, because trigger warning. Uh, dark stuff. Uh, there's a lot of, like, dark themes in that game. I'm, I'm not sure, like, your, like, your channel, like, showcases, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure, like, it's a good fit. That's all. Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? What's the rush? My voice acting range, back when my voice was higher, used to be so extreme, and now all I don't know how to no, it's not, and it makes me sad. But you catch your Sammy, sent out Weedle. I'm going to annihilate you. Oh, it's level 9 Weedle. I sound corrected. <laughs> I never tried to gust. What's that? Ooh. That was powerful. Yeah, I plan on keeping uh, Bug Eater to be like uh, up to the leave for. Like, Bug Eater is going to be a part of my party for a long time. We don't fainted. Bug Eater gained 99 XP points. Player defeated Bug Catcher Sammy. I give it. You're good at this. Why don't they keep the Japanese names? Like, why don't they keep the Japanese names? Makes me a little upset. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to this old man. Have you not noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move I hear. You do hear. Do you know that evolution cancel technique? When a Pokemon is evolving, you can stop the process. It's a technique for raising Pokemon the way they are. Meta Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to be persistent and look everywhere to catch different but kinds. Alright, where are we going now? Yes, we're in a city again! Woohoo! Alright, I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon. I think that's gonna, we're gonna end this Let's Play because I'm running out of things to talk about. Um, let me just put my my crew in the in the Pokeball. Oh, that's such a cute animation! Uh, thank you for waiting. Where you stored your Pokemon to? Full health. We hope to see you again. Anyways, let me just do, uh, let me just click. Would you like to save the game? There is already a saved file. Is it okay to override it? Saving, don't turn off the power. I remember I would breed Torchics. I would restart my game over and over again back when I was like a new player to breed Torchics. And I know that's like cheating, but like I used to. Save game. Save game. Alright. Well, I'll see you guys. Thanks for sticking around.